All right, everybody, what is going on? I'm with Steven Stolp. We're gonna actually get into the van that I've been wanting to tour for like, since I started van life, actually. <laughs> I get to actually take this van on tour with Sandy Vans to go and check out all the shows. So this will be my traveling home while I'm going to shows for the next six months. All the Adventure Van Expos, Overland Expos, bunch of, you know, festivals gatherings, anything van life related, this will be my home. But I couldn't do that without not only an amazing company like Sandy Vans, but I also couldn't do it without this man right here, which is the lead builder, Steven Stolp, goes by Stolp, and he is the lead builder and part owner of Sandy Vans. Crazy mind that we, that we tried to collaborate on, and we did, a, I think, a great job of what we created in Casper the Sandy Ghost van. I love this angle, by the way, because we're showing off um, the crazy mind of Stolp and his ceiling design. But before we get into the ceiling design um, and, and what we, we, we worked on, please give us a little background of kind of Sandy van, maybe mine and your relationship, how this van has come about. Yeah, I mean, we could kind of do a brief synopsis of what's happened. Um, you toured me before when I was Stolp Solutions. Now I'm Sandy Vans. There might be a little confusion there. Um, basically, I stopped doing custom vehicles about two years ago and joined with Sandy Vans, one of the core founders. There's seven of us. Um, and I realized that to build a good company, it's, it takes a team. I was doing everything on my own, and now I have just a sales guy, an engineer guy, a supply chain guy. So now we're able to like really ramp this company up and just affect more people's lives, which is my main goal in building vans. And you're also not working, you know, 180 hours a week. I'm still working like <laughs> 60 plus hours a week, but you know, the, there's a there's a future with this. Stolp Solutions was kind of, a, as long as my back doesn't blow out, I could keep working. <laughs> awesome, dude. And well, I'm yeah. glad, I, I've said this multiple times to you off camera, but I'm so happy for you. I'm proud of you and everything that you've accomplished. I'm so happy that, you know, Sandy Vans and you have obviously partnered up and you are now part of the founding team because that's what it's all about. I would say at least a year ago, yourself, me, um, and a couple of the other founders were like, hey, let's do a collaboration van. And this is what kind of came out of it. Yeah, and I know your followers like want to see you in a van again. So I thought it was just like a very <laughs> advantageous avenue to go. like. We want you on tour, showing our vans off to the world, and your followers want you in a van, so. Not just my happen. followers, me, I want to be in a van. Yeah, van. everyone, I, everyone wants you in a van, Jared, so, I, I, so we're making it happen. Sandy Vans does only sprinters from my phone, I remember. Yeah, right now we're only doing sprinters. We've had a lot of conversations with like transit stuff and yeah, some, some people in Ford really want us to build transits right now. Okay. Um, but. We're, we're really trying to iron out what we're doing in the sprinters before we jump onto another platform. We really got something good going here and we don't wanna throw too big of a wrench in the gears. And we're gonna get to the outside because they got some really cool stuff on the outside as well as the back racks and stuff like that. What is the make model chassis of, uh, of Casper, the van? So this is a 2024 Mercedes Sprinter 144 wheelbase. That is the main platform we use here at Sandy Vans. This is the all wheel drive model. Four cylinder, <laughs> twin turbo. Um, everybody wants to know fuel efficiency on these vehicles. They get about fully built out like 18 to 20 miles to the gallon. Um, the rear wheel drives get about 22 to 25 miles to the gallon. And actually, you know that because not only are you a founder, you, not only are you a builder, but you yourself are a van owner. Yeah, so I just got myself uh, a 2023 Mercedes Sprinter rear wheel drive 144. Um, that's gonna be a new layout that I'm prototyping. That's gonna be called the Sandy Sport. It's gonna be geared towards mountain biking and that kind of stuff. But as of right now, we have a social layout, which is a U-Bench dinette. We have the Scout layout, which is this van right here. Then we have the Sport, which I'm making. And then the Sunday, which is like kind of a adventure wagon 
sort of deal where it's stripped down and uh, you get like just bare bones van for a good price. Well, can I step on in and we talk about yeah, this? Yeah, come on in. Close the door so we can get the light going. Oh, I love that idea. There we go. Oh yeah. Should look pretty cool. I am in a, the seat, but it's not swiveled around. So my passenger seat is a swivel seat. Should we spin it around? I mean, we yeah. might as well. Spin it around. Want to take the camera and yeah, I'll, I'll do take it? Your own. Oh, look yeah, at you, make, buddy. Making make Jared work right now. <laughs> it's uh, it's rare that you guys see me do this. Look at that. Didn't even have to open the door like they tell you. Uh, there you thanks, go. buddy. I shouldn't touch stuff that expensive. You actually order a lot of your vans with factory swivels. That's what you try to do. Definitely, um, yeah, because the factory swivels are definitely amazing they also mercedes lowers the pedestal so yeah it makes it just a lot better but, but even even the aftermarket ones are great too i'm sitting very comfortable in said swivel seat if need be i know that you guys would also put another mount down here or somewhere along here yeah we usually put it on the back side or behind the driver's seat on that kitchenette right here yeah beautiful and the reason i say mount is because all of your tables are you use the lagoon table it's the mousetrap of van building. Tell me otherwise. <laughs> Part of an engineering team too. Like I'm trying to figure out how to make a product better than the Lagoon table. And congratulations, Lagoon. I can't figure it out. And they started making black ones too, which is they just got, rad. They, everybody just needs to start making black parts. It's what the people want. Yeah. Just give them what the people want. Yeah. So again, you can put the mount here. I can now have a table. I can have the door open. I can have beach, mountains, a Walmart parking lot. I can have it all. But I can have seating for two. So that is the signature Scout layout. Yeah, absolutely. And this bed, we'll, we'll pull it out in a minute because I'm sitting here. But this bed slides all the way out. And it is a 60 inch by 75 inch, which is a RV queen. Uh, we base our dimensions off six foot three. Um, because if you're over six foot three, you can't stand up in a van, which makes it much less likely for you to buy a van. <laughs> this van, because of the ceiling, is actually six foot two and three quarters. Honestly, I love that you guys now offer a, a seating where you can stare eloquently into people's eyes while they eat dinner or... Exactly. Yeah, and I think this layout might become one of our more popular layouts. We've already built a few for customers this year. Um, I definitely see that happening much more, especially when, when you're touring around in this thing. Yeah. I mean, cause this is really, it has it all. It has a large bed. It has a large seating area. We have an option where this cabinet gets cut in half and you could have a fold down seat. So then you could seat four legally an outdoor shower. There's a toilet that pulls out right here. So it just has everything that you could stuff in a van and not just in any van, like a 170, 170 extended, like this has everything that you could have other than a shower inside, which I have my own opinions on. So. I do too. And you actually, um, you have in the works possibly, we're not gonna say for sure, but a 170 that might be in the pipeline. Definitely. So we've been getting a lot of feedback from our market and we definitely listen to what people are asking us. And 170s has definitely been a hot topic lately. And we're definitely going to build one this year at some point. Uh, we have nothing lined up. I mean, we might have something lined up. I'm the builder. So <laughs> usually it's just, I get a sheet and it's like, all right, I got to build this fan this week, this month. I'm sure there's something coming in the pipeline. You did really something really cool with this lagoon table. Um, and it lights up and, uh, I obviously love, love lighting. We're going to get to the ceiling in a, in a little bit here, but you made a portable light table pretty much. Yeah. So I'm just better than what I did. <laughs> I'm just ratcheting this off so you can see. I'm not Chris Angel. This isn't, a, this isn't a mind freak. There is actually a battery inside here. Um, there's a switch right here. And then there's also a charge port right there. So you don't have to fuss around with batteries. Um, I've built tables like this a long time ago, back when I only used to do cool stuff that didn't pay my bills. I, I really hated that I had to change the batteries all the time. So I wanted to have a charging one. It's actually kind of cool. It, like you're like, oh, like that's a cool epoxy inlay. And then you're like, oh, whoa. That's a really cool epoxy. <laughs> yeah. Talk to me about this galley. I know, uh, you know, I went with this. I obviously don't have any children with other than Glacier. Um, so if you were to cut it, it would be right here. Yeah. So, seat. so then you would just have, so this is, this is now a drawer. This is the last one that we're doing this flip down. We used to do propane. We don't do propane anymore. So this is where we keep the propane tank and stuff. So now this is gonna be a drawer, but when we cut it down, it's literally a drawer here and a fridge. And then there's the Fenton fold down 
two-person seat with seat belts. The fan van. So all of our layouts have the fan van option. More on this galley. We have all these just regular drawers. Um, nothing super special. Got things double latched for heavier stuff. There's a oh, little, I didn't see that one. Yeah, a little secret drawer. I didn't see the secret drawer, yeah. and I lived in this all weekend. That's the whole point. <laughs> yeah, and then right here is a cool like pantry. The pantry from this side. Situation. Yeah. And then I did not display the lava lamp. Oh yeah, we don't even have the lava lamp hooked up right now. And then obviously some more branding for everybody, and that is actually lit. Yes. Yes, it is actually lit. <laughs> lit in more ways than one. Yes. Since we're on a roll here, uh, you could look up right here in your kitchen. You also have a microwave. Um, this is a pretty standard feature that we add. Um, right here, there's an outlet. So this is where if you get a van from us and you want to add Starlink, um, we don't have to take the ceiling down or the cabinets down. We use this outlet right here and run it all through. And because I do the same thing in all these vans, I know exactly where to drill through in the roof to run all the wires and everything, even if the van's already built. So if you want this van and it doesn't have Starlink, I can still make it happen. And then we already showed um, the toilet underneath. Yep. Um, nothing special. And then obviously deep sink right here with a bamboo cutting board, uh, gold, because because you're stole. I like gold stuff. That's like the amenities that you get in a sandy van. There's nothing, that's nothing special. Induction stove, fridge, all that stuff. The reason I love having a streamlined platform is then we can focus on cool stuff like this. So I'm gonna sit down so we can get a nice little aerial. You have done, I don't even know how many vans at this point, 20 some odd, maybe, th I mean, just in sandy vans, not stole, but Stolp's, Stolp's done 40 himself, but. <laughs> Um, I don't know if I've done 40 myself. I've done a lot. Right. I, I, yeah. What is remarkable to me is you can now change the whole layout of a van just by ceiling and lighting mm -hmm. is my point. And you can do a standard lighting package through Sandy Vans, or you can do a custom lighting design like we have here. Yeah. So this is going to be like, we're going to add a category for this because this <laughs> is like premium custom lighting uh, just because of the time and material because it's epoxy. There's, this is like a three panel system. So yeah. Shout out to Total Boat who hooked us up with some epoxy yeah, for all of the, yeah, they, they hooked us up. Um, I'm an ambassador for them and I asked them to do me a favor and they did a huge favor for me. I'm sure it looks elaborate to those that don't build things like this, but the way I designed it, it, it's, it wasn't too bad to do it just it was time consuming though because i had to time. like wait yeah. for dry times i had to like do all the sanding and my mold got stuck and there's a few things <laughs> that were just like a little crazy but yeah it ended up turning out pretty cool obviously you have a cnc machine here which is a lifesaver that was all cnc cut and then you poured all the epoxy which you have to dye the epoxy all the different colors mm -hmm. and then you actually put colored lights can i say all this yeah, I you don't put care. colored lights behind it. I will give everyone my playbook. Like, if you could execute it better than me, cool. by all means. Like, rad. Yeah. You want a job? Hit me up. Like, <laughs> I, I'm cool with that. I don't care about sharing my secrets. I, mark my words. I've never seen anybody cover up their fans. Yes. With, with ceiling design. Mark my words. What date is today? It's like the 18th of March, yeah. 2024. Yeah. So many people are going to be covering up their fans now. I guarantee it. And that's okay. I'm, I'm totally cool with it. I'm going to do it in my van. It might be one of my trademarks here at Sandy Vans. Like when we do pretty crazy yeah. ceilings. The next ceiling is actually a base fretboard. It's going to look like a fretboard. Could like you guitar. play it? Okay. So yeah. <laughs> My business partner told the guy that he'll be able to play it. No understanding of how to make that happen, so I'm gonna make that happen. Oh my goodness. You'll never see a Sandy van with puck lights in them. That was one thing I nipped in the butt when I teamed up with them. Ceiling lighting isn't just one switch, everything's done. I think you've put one, two, three, four, five switches to run various areas of the van. Yes. And they're all dimmable through this guy right here. Yeah, so this is our Red Arc system. Um, we are super obsessed with Red Arc. We are directly in bed with them. Um, I believe you're building a Red Arc van. Yeah, uh, we are building Red Arc show van. They're really impressed with the like electrical system that we have designed here, and uh, they want me to make a full plexiglass electrical display in one of the benches. The reason I like Red Arc is because we have companies like Victron and and all that actually 
The only other company I like is Victron, to be honest. They have so many functions, so many more functions than you need in a van. Mm -hmm. Red Arc is literally made for overlanding, like the van space. They've been in the game for 40 years. The only reason you haven't heard of them is because they've been doing it in Australia. They're using Sandy Vans as a platform to kind of breach into the American market. I love Red Arc, enough said. The other cool thing is that all of these are dimmable. So you just hold the button. Let's see, I'm gonna hold it. And it, yep, now we see it dimming, okay. Okay, cool. It dims really smooth in, in real life, not on Jared's camera, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it picked, it picked it up, it picked it up. Yeah. So pretty much um, this is on one, or these, this middle part is on one switch, the outer part is on one switch, the overhead cabinets is on one switch, and then your amazing, which you surprised me, under cabinet is on one switch. Yeah, and this is another one that like at nighttime, it really, this is like a back doors open at nighttime, actually any door open at nighttime kind of van. This thing looks pretty wild when it's somebody's gonna be like, well, the control panel's here and the bed's over here, like what the heck, you know? So you gotta sleep over here? No, so your cell phone hooks directly up to this display. It displays the exact same screen and all the buttons are also dimmable as well. So mm -hmm. it, it literally, you have a remote on you 24 seven. Um, that's also really great for when you're at a stoplight. Um, if you leave like lights on or something while you're driving, um, you could shut them off with your phone. Water pumps on there. Water pumps on there, water heaters on there. Uh, we actually have a 12 volt water heater on board, which is really efficient. At Tiny Fest, uh, you guys actually won best in show for best lighting design or best lighting design. There was like seven categories and you guys did win the best lighting design. So congratulations to you because I know that you spent copious amount of hours on this. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, this this kind of stuff, though, this has been my dream to do, like to work on the like the cool stuff, like the artwork stuff. Um, I started losing that a little bit when I was trying to scale my old company because mm -hmm. it was just like I was so rushed to get everything done all the time that I didn't have time to make like really cool countertops and lighting and all that stuff. I kind of had to sacrifice some stuff to just get things out the door. Now with Sandy Vans, I mean, you were here when we were getting ready for Tiny Fest. Like we just had to like wash like three vans and then load them up and roll out. Whereas before it was like a scramble yeah, marathon like you're up until 1 a.m like killing yourself and you can barely talk the next day of the show because you're so tired so at sandy vans shops close on the weekends like we're really well prepared for everything so it's really nice before we get to the bed you got the windows here i love these windows they have a blackout shade as well as a uh i don't know what that is called shade it's a bug screen bug screen thank yeah. you um and then they actually do awning out so you can keep them open in the in the uh, in the rain it's been raining a lot here in san diego it's so, weird yeah it's we gotta weird. we gotta have the awning style windows out here now um, and uh, also the crls on the side are the t-vent yep. awning windows show us underneath the bench to actually show the amount of storage that's actually in there yeah, actually at Tiny Fest, one of the feedback, the biggest feedback I got was, you know, the electrical system and how compact it was. But right now we're going to be on the plumbing side. Um, this compartment is a little bigger than normal because we got the water heater in there. So this is just strictly a utility compartment. If you get this van from me, don't go in there unless you got to shut a valve off. And then there's a small little storage pocket right there. Um, so. As you can see, you can't see the water tank. The water tank is all like built in. True, how big is your tank? Well, I heard you telling John Life that we're like 26, 30. I don't even, something. I didn't know. I was like, yeah. I, I don't know. No, so we're, we're 20 gallon. Okay, and 20 there, gallon. There's a reason for that because we have just a sink and an outdoor shower. If you're burning through 20 gallons in like three days, like you need to rethink like your water <laughs> usage. Uh, but this is obviously the favorite compartment right here. This is the electrical compartment. That's this is, all of it. This is the entire electrical system. We have a 2000 watt inverter, a manager 30 from Red Arc. So that provides us with power from solar, DC to DC, AKA alternator and shore power, all 30 amp charging. So this thing is constantly getting charged at all times. And then it's on top of two 206 amp hour batteries which is 412, if you want me to do math for you. And those are SOK Lithiums. Reason I like those is they have every feature that the expensive batteries have, 
for not a crazy price. If you wanna get batteries off me, I got you. My goal was to create something really compact, yet ventilated. All these vents, there's vents in the toe kick. The entire back sides of these cabinets have a bunch of vent holes and everything. And I use the inverter fans and all the other fans inside to pull air through the wheel well and keep all the electronics cool. Yeah, and then there's another storage compartment right here. Just extra storage. As well. That's where yeah, that's just, where Glacier's dog food's gonna go, right there. Hamper, whatever you want. Ooh, hamper, I like that yeah. idea too. Yeah, people don't think about hampers. We don't, hampers yeah. and trash. Hampers and trash. I always put the trash can yep. right behind the driver's seat. I was gonna say right, right here. That's my Perfect. favorite spot. Cause then when you're driving, you're snacking, you can just like toss some stuff right behind you. It's also good for the heater. Which yeah. You do have a heater in here. You and Jared's going to want me to talk about why I put the heater there. We've said it so many times <laughs> on your channel. But uh, so I like putting heaters on the driver's side. Does not mean I don't put them on the passenger side. Some people thought that like I refuse to do that. That's incorrect. If you come with your van to my shop and you want a diesel heater put underneath your seat, I will more than gladly do it. The reason it's good on the driver's side is because you don't have your slider door, which I don't care how nice your Sprinter is. These are not airtight, so you can get some fumes into the space. Nothing that'll kill you, but you just like might like smell some stuff, or you maybe can get, get a dizzy. Little bit, little bit of headache, yeah. maybe. All right, so the the bed, the bed is the bed. a scout bed. Yeah, it's a scout. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go further there. Um, so basically, um, you got to take all these cushions and table. Just kidding. You don't have to do anything. It just slides <laughs> right out. Oh, I got stuck. There we go. This this one was made for the show. Um, we're going to definitely have like a folding mattress that is specifically designed for this bed system. Hold on. Nice. That uh, went back in really easily. I think we covered pretty much everything in here, but you have all these upper cabinets. I was like, I wanted to ha like cut this upper cabinet in half and not have it this way. And during the design process, you actually talked me into having upper cabinets on both sides because I didn't realize you actually sleep north-south. Yeah, um, and this these vans, you know, you can't have enough storage, especially if you're gonna be in this thing for six months. It's just really great. Like you keep all your clothes up here. Like this area obviously would be good for all your cooking stuff. And then back here, you know, you have outlets inside both of these. So since you're a computer type guy, yeah. Um, you could plug in all your electronics and stuff. Um, all these outlets have USB, USB-C, and two 110 ports. So Beautiful. you have plenty of area to keep your equipment charged while it's stored at the same time. And you actually have a USB port right on the edge of the bed over there. Yeah, so it's tucked in back here. This is like a little like drink shelf too. Um, a lot of people um, like to, you know, have a beverage in bed. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, one of the things that you have at home is a nightstand, a place to set it. A lot of times in vans, it gets overlooked that you don't have anywhere to set stuff when you're chilling. Well, there's a nice little like four inch sill on both sides that you could keep books. You could keep a bottle of wine. Just make sure it's corked good so you don't <laughs> mess up your sheets. But yeah, it's, it's just like a cool little area. And then obviously cell phone charger, which is very important. Uh, do you want to move to the outside? Did we miss anything in here? You know what? We did miss this, another charging port. Yeah, so that's a wireless charger. Uh, yet another thing, that, like all these outlets and ports and all the things that we're talking about right now, that's all standard in a Sandy van. That is not made for this van, for Jared. That is totally standard on our package. But yeah, let's go take a look outside and uh, show people the other side of our business, which is exterior parts. So you just saw me majestically step out of this van. Um, that is because I stepped on a Sandy Vans sidestep. One of the great things about these sidesteps is there's zero perforations on where you get in and get out. Um, that is because we are dog friendly and you don't have to worry about your dog toenails getting stuck on the side steps. We also have opportunities for hookups. So if you have propane on board, you can mount it in these holes. If you have a water fill or anything of that nature, these holes are designed to just mount exterior hookups and uh, air, all sorts of stuff. And then we go further over here. I don't know how much water you have in here. I don't think a lot at all, actually. But this is also a standard feature. That is a tank drain, foot washer, dog bowl filler, whatever you want to call it. It's uh, the way you could drain your whole fresh water system without having to do much other than turning a valve. 
And then if you would like a Fiamma awning, we are distributors for those. We love the Fiamma awnings, they're pretty sweet. And that it is attached to, you guessed it, the sandbar roof rack by Sandy Vans. Um, right back here, this is the starboard rack. So you'll see some nautical themes because I'm ex-military, I was in the Navy. Um, but yeah, this is a starboard rack, which is on the right side of your van. Um, this rack can have the boost box, which is this large box. We have boost box mini. You could put rotopex, shovels, whatever you want to show off to the people behind you on the back of your rig, you can put on here. And then right here, speaking of boost box mini, this is the boost box mini. Really cool, just great storage option. Now, what I find interesting, uh, which you know, I don't, I'm not going to say other companies don't do it. I'm just going to say that you you don't do it. But your starboard and port rack, you I believe use existing holes, so you don't create any more holes in the Sprinter van. There's actually three things on the back of this that we don't drill holes with. Um, so both these racks, this rack right here. Um, screws directly into the Mercedes logo and then it has a little bump stop right here where it's really structurally sound inside the door and then it bolts to 180 degree hinges which you could also get from us. A really great way to not damage your van let's say you want to sell your van but you want to keep your exterior parts you don't have to worry about putting a sticker on the hole that you drilled. Right over here this is the port rack and this one's really interesting because this is the first drillless rack that that penetrates the door i haven't seen any like it and then it also bolts the 180 degree hinges right here does this hit the door it does not or the side we have uh, bump stops oh, okay um but then i said three products one that gets forgotten so much but it's one of our top sellers is the shoreline shore power bracket oh you're gonna make me get down here so right here this yep. is a 15 amp 110 shore power inlet and the great thing about this is you also do not have to drill holes these go through the factory bumper um, oh, wow. holes that are already there for those of you that leave your fuel your the fuel pump in your car at the gas station and drive away <laughs> well if you leave your van plugged in and drive away it just gently unplugs doesn't damage anything and then over here we have our sandy vans ladder all of our products have all of these um, L-Track compatible hooks and stuff. So you could just kind of put all sorts of crazy things on the side of your van if you want. The roof rack has decking panels that also have these same things. We should probably go up there and look at the roof rack. Might as well. Yeah, might as well. Let's go. It's, it's, uh, it's about the rain. Who cares? You were in the Navy. Yeah. I don't know what that has to do with anything, but... <laughs> I think you just wanted to drop that. I'm going to hand you this. Let's watch Jerry get up a ladder. So people that know me and follow me for a long time, I should know that I'm actually scared of heights. So I will be a little woozy when I get up here. Oh, you look great. Oh man. But yeah, we can see the Sandy Van sign. It's only nine and a half feet. We're all right. Um, so if we look down, these are the decking panels that you can option with our roof rack. And then over here, we have a 175 watt solar panel up forward. We also are making different dimensional decking panels, so we'll be bridging this gap right here in the very near future. And uh, if, you, if there was an air conditioning in the back here, this would just be open as well. Yeah, so that would be open. Um, the great thing about this roof rack is all the 80-20 can slide. Okay. So if you already have a fan or anything like that and you're nervous about the fitment of this rack on your vehicle, you don't have to be. It's very easy to make it modular around what you already have on your roof. What if I wanted the Sandy Van exterior components? Can I, can I purchase that off sandyvan.com? Yeah, and if you're local, we do free installation. 2019 or newer is most of our parts. However, the side steps work on 2008. Hopefully, maybe a bumper in the future, maybe front and rear bumpers uh, in the bumper, future. Bumpers in the very near future, rear bumpers even in the more near future. Good. Um, that's, we, we've already had a prototype at the shop. 
we're working out some kinks and then we're working out production for that as well. Well, man, thank you so much for kind of giving us a breakdown of my home for the next six months. Yeah. I, uh, not only that, I also want to thank you and your entire team for just banging this out way quicker than you should have. Uh, the light, the, the lighting design alone should have taken a normal person a week. And I think it took you like just like a few days. I don't know. Not eight hour days. Yeah. It was a, it was a long days. What is your turnaround uh, time frame for if somebody orders a Sandy van right now here, right now? So we're building about three to four a month. Um, it takes about a month for from purchase to ownership. However, we do have inventory always at the shop that's just kind of rolling around. Uh, we have vans on tour. We have vans being rented in the near future. So if you just come on down, we could either place you in a van that we already have today, or we could build a custom van for you. And what is a rear wheel drive uh, Sandy Van Basic 144 layout, not not like a Scout layout, like one of those. What does that start at? So a Scout and a Social, they're at about 119 starting, and then the all-wheel drive is about 155k starting. And that's fully built out. We're van and build, water, build. water heater, everything. Like, yeah, everything. Uh, you won't have a diesel heater in that, and you won't have as many exterior components, but you'll still have a roof rack and, and stuff like that. So well, I think we priced it out. It was actually 169. Yeah, 169, 169 for this yeah, van that we're did standing that on. on purpose. Yes. Yeah. It's so special, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, buddy, so much. Um, I, I know you have to get back to work, so I'm going to let you go back to work. Here, let me do the outro right here. Oh, boy. All right, so thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate you and the, uh, the whole team. Uh, Evan and uh, Alan have been great, and uh, the rest of the founders have been awesome with me as well. So thank you guys so much. All right. <laughs> Peace out. Later, dude.